Thanks, Taryn. Thank you very much. It truly is an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. This event really hits home with me. As some of you know, or may, may or may not know, I am not Jason Collins. I just look an awful lot like him. Of course, Jason is my twin brother who made a little news a year ago when he became the first openly gay active player in the four major professional sports in America. Since his announcement, our family has had some unique experiences. We had the pleasure of getting a little couch time with Oprah. And an additional benefit for myself, I got to be my brother's plus one at the White House when he attended the State of the Union address. It's pretty cool. Thanks, Jace. In all seriousness, uh, on behalf of everyone with the Warriors, the NBA, and all of the players and coaches in professional sports who support equality on and off the court, I'd like to thank GLAD for all of the tremendous work they've done to advocate, educate, and share the stories of LGBT athletes like my brother. Tonight, I'm here to talk about a game-changing player behind the scenes in professional sports. This gentleman has not scored any points or grabbed any rebounds in the NBA, but he's had an incredible impact in the success of our league for over four decades. This past year, his leadership enabled the Warriors to earn Professional Sports Team of the Year Award from the Sports Business Journal. He, of course, would be my friend and co-worker and boss's boss, the president and COO of the Golden State Warriors, Rick Welts. Come on up, Rick. Got a couple more words for you. Come on up. Well, please do come on up. Rick, to put it mildly, you've become a true, you are a true pioneer. My brother, as mentioned, became the very first active professional athlete to come out last year with the NBA's Brooklyn Nets. You can probably imagine how extremely proud our entire family was of Jason for his courage and vision. Likewise, a few months ago, Michael Sam came out and had the opportunity to play for the St. Louis Rams in the preseason, and he's continued his NFL dream with the Dallas Cowboys. However, it was Rick Welts who set the trend for active personnel to come out in sports. He was the one to take the leap of faith three years ago with a front page story in the New York Times. He was the one to tell everyone that, hey, it's okay to be who you are in your career, including in professional sports. And because of this man, the landscape in professional sports has changed. We still have a lot of work to do in both professional sports and society in general, but we are making tremendous progress. We are so much further ahead of the game today than we were on May 15, 2011, the day you came out. Rick, I share my brother's sentiment when he calls you, quote, a true inspiration, a man with the utmost character and impeccable reputation. GLAD's Davidson Valenti Award is presented to an LGBT media professional who has made a significant difference in promoting equality for the LGBT community. Tonight, among these San Francisco heroes, I'm proud to present it to a much-deserving honoree, Rick Welts. Please. Thank you so much. So, I just want to recap. Let me, let me see. You have to stay up here. Let me see if I got this right. So, a uh, former NBA player who's currently an assistant coach with the Golden State Warriors just 
Oh, and by the way, happens to be the twin brother of Jason Collins, just introduced an openly gay president of a major league sports franchise. Well, things have changed in the last three years, haven't they? So, uh, he's a very good sport. He spent his whole uh, evening tonight saying, no, I'm not Jason, right? <laughs> but I did, I did talk to your brother yesterday, and I wanted to share just a couple of things about this guy who's up on the stage, because you know a lot about his brother. Now, you don't have the mic anymore, so you can't dispute what your brother said about you, but uh, according to your brother, Jason, uh, he w first of all wants to point out he's the older brother by eight minutes. He believes that he's always been a little bit taller and a little bit stronger than his little brother. And in that role, when you were both on the court, he really considered himself the defender, uh, really the enforcer, uh, when you guys were on the court. Now, things changed. The day that uh, Jason came to Jaron to tell him he was gay, by the way, he must have the worst gaydar in the world, right? Okay. <laughs> When that day happened, their roles completely reversed, according to your brother. From that time when Jason told Jaron he was gay to the point in time where he came out publicly to all of us, you became the protector. You were there with him every step of the way. And he speaks with it with such pride and talks about you as the ultimate straight ally that's so important to everyone in this room. So thank you for being here. Thank you for presenting us. Thank you. So my, uh, my journey was a little longer than Jason's. It was about three and a half years ago. I was having dinner on the Upper East Side in New York with, I'd asked a friend to join me who ran a PR firm in New York. I needed to ask him a question. I'd made a decision about what I wanted to do, uh, but I didn't know how I wanted to go about doing it. I told him what I wanted to do. I could come out to my coworkers, people I've worked with my whole career. But I needed to ask him, was this a big enough story that if I did it, in a much more public way, could it have an impact? And he looked across the table at me and said, Rick, if you'll do this, I think it's page A1 of the New York Times. That was kind of my aha moment. And as the evening progressed, I think by the end of the evening, I decided that if I did tell my story in a much more public way, and if I could help just one young person believe that they could pursue their passion in life and succeed because of who they are rather than in spite of who they are, and whatever came my way would have been worthwhile. No one really could have imagined, we've seen it tonight, what's unfolded in our country over the past three years and even in the sports industry. Robbie Rogers, Jason Collins, Brittany Griner, Michael Sam, as each one came out and told their own compelling personal story, they added to the quality and the depth of the conversation about homophobia in professional sports. Much has been accomplished, but much is left to be done, not just at the professional level, but in our colleges and in our high schools. Acceptance starts early. I want to acknowledge my partner, Todd Gage, who's here tonight with me. I'm not quite sure he knew what he was signing up for when we went on this journey, but thank you. Uh, I want to acknowledge my coworkers at the Warriors and my friends that are here tonight. And I want to say thanks to GLAD for the work you do every day in working with individuals and organizations to bring understanding and equality to the world of sports. And thanks for this wonderful recognition tonight. Go GLAD, go Warriors. Thank you. Thank you.